Man, it look like Young Thug and slipped on a banana peel and slid down a, a, a razor blade into an alcohol bath tub, man. I'm here to talk about this district attorney lady, man, that he got on his case, man, and her quest for blood, man. This lady dead serious, man. I hate this shit for Thug. I hate this shit for his camp. But, man, it's some real shit going on with this situation, man. You know what I'm saying? The lady named Fanny T. Willis. She was born October 27, 1971 in Los Angeles, California. You got a, uh, she went to Harvard University, and, uh, where she graduated and got her law degree at Emory University. She was a top class student, you know what I'm saying, through all her, her years, you know what I'm saying? Maybe she didn't like that gang culture in Los Angeles. Maybe that blew, brewed a fire in this lady or something, man. Cause this lady here, she dead serious, man. Listen to the rest of my video, people. She the first woman to hold the title of DA in Fulton County. So right there, man, you know she got a point to prove. You know how them women is when they get in them certain positions, man. They feel like they got to show the men that they can do the job. They got to show the men they can be tough. They got to show that, that realm of, of living, you know what I'm saying, that they can be just as stern as the men. Because you know they always have these conversations saying the women can't be present because of their emotions and all this. But... Man, this lady right here, she trying to make her bones on this one, baby. Y'all better pay attention to it, man. She spent 16 years prosecuting in Fulton County District Attorney's Office before, you know what I'm saying, becoming a, a, a DA. You know what I'm saying? So that means she studied her appearance. She studied her bosses. She studied the people around her. And, and she was on a quest to get somewhere. Check this out, my guys. Man, one of her first cases, one of her first real big prominent cases was that, uh, that, that cheating scandal that they had down there in Atlanta when the, te the teachers was goddamn, uh, cheating the test scores for the kids so their numbers could look good with the state as if they was doing their job. She the one that broke that up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us didn't know, man. This lady been on a mission. She, she doing all high power, uh, arrests. She going at this, the industry a whole nother way. So, man, Thug, he got to watch out because, man, I don't know if his attorney going to be good enough for this. You know what I'm saying? It always can be a loophole somewhere. But this lady, it seemed like the type of lady that does her homework. Man, this lady broke up the, the, the Atlanta school system scandal. See the lady when they hit the news everywhere. Well, you may be, my people. I know it touched down in Memphis, so I'm pretty sure everybody else knows how we of this. But this is the lady that was... Uh, what there was the charge that led the charge in this situation. Yeah, then she ran. Uh, she started a private practice in 2018. In the same year, she ran for a seat on Fulton County Superior Court, and she lost. But you no, know I'm saying they didn't stop her. She was still determined. Got them in 2020. She was elected district attorney of Fulton County. So she finally got what she had been working toward, my people. This woman scratching. She trying to get somewhere with this, man. You know what I'm saying? Another case that the woman also went in before all this even happened that we maybe don't even know, but it was news that came to us. She also led the charge when Donald Trump and them got tied in with them phone calls in the Georgia election. She called that call to get involved in it. This woman don't care your stature. She don't care how big you are. If she feel like she got you dead to the right and you big enough in her eyesight, to get that credibility, to get to that next step. Man, we know how these law enforcement do it, just like these officers. When these holidays come up, man, you see them motherfuckers scanning and checking motherfuckers' speed limit. You know what I'm saying? You places you knew you weren't seeing an officer before. Them motherfuckers checking speed limit, scanning everything. Because they know when they do all that, it's going to take them to that next level. When they get so many arrests, it's going to take them from um, just that street officer to that detective. It's going to take them from that detective dick to that lieutenant. You know what I'm saying? That's just how this go, man. They, they, uh, they objective is to get Herman Flash, man. Man, a lady elected 26 members of a special grand jury to go at Donald Trump, my guy. She goddamn went at the goddamn governor and the attorney general in that same conspiracy because they were saying like it was some phone calls Donald Trump made to them high officials in Georgia trying to swing the election. You know what I'm saying? So she she was the one on top of all that. She was the one, goddamn me, that broke that up. You know, a lot of things we hear, we don't know who be behind these things. 
But this lady's name is tied to some cases that's going to be in history books forever. So this young thug, why sell indictment, man, this putting another notch under this lady's belt. She finna fight hard. That's why she got them denying these bonds. She keeping all these guys locked up and separated. So it ain't no getting no story straight. It ain't none of that. This lady feel like she got them right where she wanted. She waited to the perfect time to get them. She caught them just right. And, and see, she she just on top of, it's like on her end of doing her job, man. She on top of that job. You know, we just look at this shit, man. They, this shit, they got young thug, man, tied in on this shit to over 50 goddamn murders, man. Over 50 murders. You think this lady ain't gonna tie that man to at least one or two with the track record she got? And keep in mind, my people, I want these people to get out, but I want them to get out, man, and be productive, man. Because anybody that's tied to some shit that's killing 50 people, man, you know, I don't know what to say right there now. We got to all keep it real, man, because if there were goddamn one or two of your family members, man, you would want them four dead. Because we ain't wishing jail on nobody at all. But you got to realize, man, the effects this shit have on everybody and everything. But back to the situation with this lady, man. She got that man ass. She got, she arrested him. They caught him with some more goddamn drugs. And then on the, on the Rico charge, it's murder, robbery, and theft included on this charge. So, my people, we got to wake up, man. We got to pay attention to this shit. We got to look at how these feds play dirty. They've been doing this since way back with John Dillinger and Babyface Nelson, man. If any of us watch these movies and know our history on how the game politics work and all that, every time they crack down on these big kingpin names, we know they always play dirty. So all we can do, we putting trust in these lawyers who working with them, who going out to eat with them, who golfing with them, who kids go to the same school they kids go to. So we got to wake up, my people. And just come in and like and subscribe, man. And let me know how y'all feel about this situation, man. I'm just giving y'all the facts. Appreciate you for checking in.